So Brahma creates, and Shiva destroys the material world, and Vishnu maintains. And if you consider, and the most difficult thing to, to do is maintain. Create is easy. Destroy is even easier. But to maintain things is difficult. So Krishna Vishnu is avatar of Vishnu. Krishna is manifestation of Vishnu. Yeah, yeah. Also, actually, you know, it's Vishnu, I mean, this is for what we read, Vishnu is manifestation of Krishna. Practically, Krishna, the word Krishna means the supreme attractive. And it means that from him there are innumerable, innumerable uh, manifestations. There is a verse in Srimad Bhagavatam which says that of all the manifestation, Krishna is the supreme. Krishna, it is, it is Bhagavan, it's a particular verse for Srimad Bhagavan, it says that. Is it okay? Um, yes. Um, thank you for the very nice class. And I'd like to ask uh, about the third part. It says, the living entity comes in contact with the material creation, is eternal love for Krishna but for love, a love of God is transformed into lust in association with the more passion. So, uh, in other words, the sense of love of God becomes transformed into lust. So, so basically, lust is the material <coughs> manifestation of, of love of God, like mm -hmm. transformed. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, with regard to that, can you... Uh, is is there only love for God, or, or do you, can you have love for like, you know, all, all living entities or you know, persons? You, you know, like, there is is lost. Uh, so that that's uh, in the material world. Is it is it the, as the only uh, manifestation of you know of love of God in a sense? Yeah. The point is that once you awaken your love of God, you really love other persons. Because you see Krishna in their heart, and you see all connected to Krishna. Usually, um, in the material world, the love, love, loving another person means also to get something from that person, which sometimes is holding that person. <coughs> or um, like, I love you until you love me. If you don't love me, okay, I'm, I'm going to look for someone else. <laughs> you know, this is this, this is the truth. So is is um, is not pure love. Pure love means that when you do whatever you are, whatever for this person. And in the material world, the love which is more close, it is more close in the sense that it gives you a better idea of the love, pure love, is the love that the mother has for the child. Because usually a mother wants um, her love for for the child that she even if the child is betraying her or doing some bad thing to her, she always said wants the good for her, her, her child. This is and this is the the closest idea to pure love of God. In this material world, actually, we don't know, we don't have really an idea of what does it mean love because love in material world means. Okay, I love you until you love me. When you don't love me, okay, I love you for another more, for a while. And then, okay, when you think, there are people who say, okay, I love you even if you don't love me, but after a while, okay, I don't love you anymore, I love someone else. So this is, because usually the relationship is that you want something in exchange. When you want something in exchange, it means that it's not, it's not pure love. So you cannot speak about pure love in material way. Pure love means only pure love for Krishna, which exists only in the spiritual world. I don't know if this reply to your question. No, it's kind of, <laughs> not completely. <laughs> we could talk more about it. Yeah, because the point is that um, you said that it, it could be love also for others instead of mm -hmm. Krishna in the material world. This is your question. Or, no, not instead. It could be, along with, like, because of course there is some kind, because the natural tendency of the soul is to love. Uh -huh. So, of course, if we cannot uh, awake this love for Krishna, of course we want more, <coughs> some kind of relationship of love with someone. But it, not la it, it stops. It, it, at one point, the relationship that love finished, or there is some kind of cutting. It's with Krishna is never finishing. Yeah. 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 But at the, at the end of the same purport, it says that 
there for all these like last stress and, and everything if, if you employ it in Krishna consciousness so uh, so then it it becomes become our friends instead of our enemies. So so I like, although you know really in the material world and, you know there might be all these you know feelings like you know, lust and love and all that. so but if you <coughs> so how can you like use it in the service of Krishna or yeah, last you can use it in the service of Krishna. Last means that you want something for yourself. So instead of taking, you should serve the person. You should serve and say, okay, what can I do? Because last means that I decide something for myself and I'm, and I'm ready to use the, the, what, that person because I want that person. So it's kind of, I mean, I want for my a personal sense gratification. Instead, if I want to do I say, okay, how can I serve that person to go more closer to Krishna, add that person to add to serve Krishna or in the service. And anger you can use if someone offends devotees or offend Krishna, you can become upset. <laughs> it's authorizing. <laughs> Even if not that much because you cannot you have also to understand why people is offending or you know, you can try to explain them philosophically is not that. But and last means that you have to serve the person. It's, it's like you, you said Krishna, you also serve other devotees, or, or serve the person who you have like some kind of whatever desire, and you say, okay, I have to transform this desire for enjoying myself to, to have this person to go more close to Krishna. So I, I like them, or I like them. Uh, thank you. Now there will be Gorarati. So everybody get ready for the Gorarati. Jai Shima Pagaki Kaki Jai Shima Pagaki Jai. Her grace, Akashi, Radhika Devi, please.